So the first thing you'll want to do in variable is probably log your mood. So you do that by pressing the plus sign and then selecting your mood score from one to 10 and the emotions that you're feeling. You can also uh, create notes using the toolbar at the bottom of the mood section. And then when you're done, you press the check mark in the top right hand corner. Symptoms, uh, you can see there are mental health and physical health symptoms here. You can press none if you're not experiencing any symptoms for the day. Or you can use the set overall button uh, to set your severity score for each symptom between mild and unbearable. You can also do this for different phases of the day. You can add notes for each symptom as well, and this comes in handy if you're sharing uh, symptom information with a medical professional. So for sleep, you log the number of hours that you slept, so sleep quantity, and then also sleep quality, which is the score one to five for the previous night's sleep. You can also sync this information using the sync off, sync on button. And then there are extra details you can add too, like the amount of time you spent in bed. And also, if you take any naps, you can log by phase of day that you took the nap and also the total time you napped for. This comes in handy when you're looking at insights or sharing the information with other people. And then you also have sleep factors. These are the habits or behaviors that you think may have impacted the quality and quantity of your sleep. And finally, you can also take notes for the uh, past night of sleep as well. Factors, these are really important. These are the activities and habits that you think might be impacting your health. You can see there's a whole selection of categories here and we'll just focus on general for today. So you can tap any of the factors in any of these sections to log them for the entire day or toggle on different time periods so you can select the factor by the time of day. Health measurements, this is a section mostly used for importing data from third-party apps and devices. You tap the sync off button and connect it to a, an account uh, such as your Apple Health or Google Fit account. You can also log data manually. So here you can see we're tracking weight and adding notes. And this can come in handy if you can't sync certain pieces of information. And finally here, we'll look at meds and supplements. This starts out blank. We'll enter aspirin as, a, uh, as an example. Strength is the amount and unit is the measurement. So here we've got 500 milligrams of aspirin, which is a typical dose. To log that, you press the pill icon and press plus one to double the dose, minus 0.5 to halve the dose. You can also change the time that you took the dose to log past entries. And then really importantly here as well, you can also set uh, medication reminders using the bell icon. And this lets you set as many different reminders as you'd like for each medication. You just select the time and day of week and then you'll be sent a push notification. Cool, and then one last little thing is significant events. These are for one-off events that may have impacted your health. You add a description, enter the date, score it good, neutral, or bad. And this will sit as a standalone insight um, showing you the impact on your mood following this date. You can also click the question mark for more information about how this works and view these in your comparison graph by rotating your phone in Insights 2.